In this problem, we're given a graph, and we have to answer uh, various questions. So first, it wants the critical numbers. So critical numbers are numbers in the domain of the function where the derivative is uh, undefined or where it's zero. So uh, the only critical number we're going to have here is at 1. Because at 1, when x is 1, you have a horizontal tangent line. And so the derivative will be 0 here because you have a horizontal tangent line. So that's the only critical number. Notice there's holes here, so there's no critical numbers here. It's got to be in the domain of the function. The holes indicate that, you know, that's not going to work. They're not, they're completely excluded. Relative maxima. So the relative maxima will occur at 1, right, because this y value here of 4 is bigger than the points around it. So you have a relative maximum that occurs at x equals 1. By the way, uh, the actual relative maximum is 4, but the question wants to know where it happens. So it's x equals 1. There is no relative minima in this problem. There are no y values that are smaller than the points around them. If you're thinking, well, what about 3? Well, you don't even include the 3. Plus, uh, there's no points around it. You can never have a relative minima or maxima at an endpoint because uh, you, you need to have points on both sides. Absolute maxima is the biggest y value, so that would be 4, and it occurs at x equals 1. So at, at 1, we have the absolute maximum, so 1. And there are no absolute minima in this problem. Uh, there is no smallest y value, right? You might say, what about here or, or over here? Or as a whole here, so you have y values that get infinitely close to 0 but never get there. So it's impossible to find a smallest y value, kind of an interesting thing. I hope this video has been helpful.